We have an agreement, Christina. You have to sign these papers. Okay, can we just, can we just, let's just talk about this for a minute, okay? I just, I don't think it's a good idea, Molly, for me to sign the papers right now. Yes, it is. You are about to give birth and I cannot legally adopt my baby until you terminate your rights. Okay, but there's there's issues at play right now that, that weren't happening when we originally agreed to this. What issues? You and TJ, what about us? What if you break up? TJ and I are not breaking up. That's not even a question here. Okay, maybe you are too close to it and you don't want to see it. Molly, but I mean, things have been really rocky lately. It's so condescending of you to think that you can tell me about my own relationship. Okay, maybe you don't want to see it. And I'm sorry to say this, but it's true. I mean, you can't deny that there's been so much tension between you guys lately. I mean, you cannot stop fighting. All we fight about is you. So, so, so what? According to you, now TJ and I are going to break up because we fight? That's what couples do. They fight, and they make up, and they wind up stronger for it. But, but you wouldn't know anything about that, because you have never, not one single time, been able to keep anybody around long enough to form a real relationship. All you have is a string of embarrassingly misguided attempts with men, a crush that drove your teacher out of town, and a messed up infatuation with a woman who was so right, ashamed man, you're going of being gay that she was back. still in the closet until her mother caused a national uproar by publicly outing her. Look in the mirror, Christina. You are not equipped to be a mother. You can barely take care of yourself. 